You gotta get loose like a goose before a video. But this is not before a video. We started the video already. That's behind the scenes warm up for the video. <laughs> Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. Every year uh, around this time, we usually start getting a lot of comments and questions saying, I started New Year's resolutions, I was doing really good, but now I'm failing. I made a mistake. I slipped up. I I'm not motivated. Yeah. What do I do? So we thought we would make a video giving you some examples of, of things and tips that we did and learned along our weight loss journey. Because when we first started, slip ups, well, they're always normal, but we failed. We slipped up. We got off track. We did all of that. But the main thing that we learned is that there's always a way to get back. So we thought we would give you some tips and hopefully help inspire you. These are things that worked for us. So you can modify them or you can try them out, whatever you like. And as long as you never give up, you're not out of the game. Exactly. And also know that you are never alone. This our channel it's a whole community so there are always people here you can leave a comment and not just us but all of the cool friends that comment will help you out so one of the first things that we did was when something wasn't working we would switch it up so change what you're eating or change the type of exercise that you're doing if you're eating low carb try adding some carbs in. If you're eating carbs, try taking some away. Try just like switching things up so that it kind of motivates you to get started again. And that's what we would do. The other part of that, what we would do, is make it fun. We found that if you enjoyed the journey, Every day, you wanted to be on track. You wanted to eat your food, do your exercise, because it was fun. By that, what I mean is, exercise-wise, we used to walk together, but if that gets boring or if you don't like walking, we did a lot of different things together. Here in Canada, obviously, it snows a lot, so we used to go tobogganing together. We now we shovel the driveway and we make it a race. We like race each other. We're whipping snow, like seeing who can shovel the biggest shovel of snow. It's always me, but. <laughs> um, we, we would, you know, make up little circuits for each other. So like, you know, lead each other in something fun and, I would teach Nicole how to do ballerina dancing. <laughs> and I would teach Kyle how to do this. You know, so anything like that fun but exercise. Actually, it's not a joke. Like, well, the ballerina stuff is kind of a joke. But dancing, put on, like cleaning the house, we've done for cardio. Walking with Hank, we sometimes will do sort of like an interval with him. So we'll walk, then we'll run, then we'll walk, then we'll run. And Hank is really funny because he runs sideways. So it makes it even more fun. And he licks the floor. Oh yeah, that's it. The, the, we see a lot, so many people, they get fired up at the start of January and say, I'm going on the treadmill for an hour every single day. Yes. And that becomes fun for, uh, that becomes not fun very quick. No. So basically the message is don't force yourself. And don't do it for a set amount of time. I just recently got asked that I make myself do it for 20 minutes every day, but I don't want to. So what do you do? Don't do it for 20 minutes. Don't. Do it for as long as you feel you need to. And this person said, well, I feel good. I felt great at 15 minutes. So I said, good. She's, and she said, so I stopped at 15. I said, that is awesome. That sets you up for success. Pushing it to 20 might have set you back. As humans, if we yeah. don't like what we're doing, Not guess do what it. the rate of, you know, the continuation rate of that is if we're forcing something that we don't like, you're not going to sustain it for a long period of time. And 
the same, and, and the, if you don't like working out at a gym, don't make yourself go to a gym. Do, you can get a great workout at home. You can get a great workout in the corner of a small space. You don't need a big space. You don't need a lot of equipment. If you don't like kale, don't eat kale. And that's where I was gonna transition to next, food. It's the same with food. Don't force yourself to eat foods you don't like and don't force yourself to do a diet that you don't think you can stick to. For us, we made the choice to make it a fitness journey, a lifestyle change, not a diet exercise plan because we knew those didn't last because we had done them over and over again. Make your eating fun. What, what we do and we still do now is we add in things that are fun. I add sugar-free chocolate chips, just a few, five or six, to my breakfast. I add a tablespoon of unsweetened applesauce sometimes to we, make it We fun. do the uh, no sugar added syrups in our yeah. oatmeal and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is I make clean pancakes and clean French toast using oats and sprouted grain bread. We make cool sort of like yogurt dips for fruit out of cocoa powder and fat-free Greek yogurt and stevia. You can make it exciting and still make it food that will help you lose weight and enjoyable. So change it up, add some fun things, throw in some sugar-free chocolate chips, give yourself a diet pop or some sort of treat, something that you'll look forward to. This is kind of on track but off track a little bit. Um, don't get so attached to your New Year's resolution. Like we know because we made so many of them and failed. Yes, you had a plan, right? You had an idea late December that January early you were going to start some plan. If it happens in your life where you can't exactly follow that, don't get too attached to the plan. Trust me and Nicole, our plans changed all the time. a million times yeah. almost seven years ago when we started losing weight if we were like our goals and plans are constantly evolving so don't yeah. basically don't get stuck on that you know set in stone i said i was going to do this much exercise and eat this food if it's not working for your life it's change okay it. to change it up me and nicole have been down every every alleyway every valley up and down it, it's normal that's a really good point. Yes, if it's not working anymore, change it. And that's just like with the food and exercise. Modify it to suit your needs. Don't give up, just change it. Make it evolve. That's what Kyle and I have done. And like Kyle says, we have evolved and changed over and over again. It's how you can, it's how we've lost the weight and kept it off for so long. So if something is really inside you, deeply telling you like, this is not for me. Listen to it. Listen. Another really important thing that we had to do was acknowledge what had happened. So, okay, I slipped up. I binged, I made a mistake. I ate way more or ate completely opposite foods that I wanted to. Acknowledge it and, and tell yourself, but that's okay. So we would go, Okay, we would tell each other, I messed up, I did this, didn't want to do it, I did it. Okay, let's move on. And ideally, we would get right back on track instead of, because before we used to go, oh, I messed up, I'll just continue the rest of the week going b bonkers, it's that, and then Monday I'll fix it. Yeah, it's that black and white thinking like, okay, I messed up and had a cupcake, I'm a bad person now, so, yeah, so everything now, is ruined in my life for the rest of the week, month, year. And then it, it keeps going and going and yeah. going. Don't beat yourself up on top of it. No, you, we acknowledged it and okay, made a mistake. Next meal, we're getting right back on this, the currently scheduled program. <laughs> so we had to tell each other, okay, and then move on. We, we would tell each other, tell ourselves it was okay, and move on. Basically what we're saying is, if you let somebody brings in muffins or donuts at work and you have some and it's not part of your plan, don't modify the rest of your day because you had a donut. Yes, don't. Stay, eat the regular food. 
Even though you might be telling yourself, I'm a bad person, I don't need this food, I ate so yeah. much at lunch. Now I'm not going to eat for the rest of the day. Yeah, still do your workout and eat the rest of your normally planned food that day. Drink your water, it's going to be okay. You will yes. get back on track if you just keep staying on the track. If you deny yourself the rest of your meals, and I do hear people often say this, well, since I ate that piece of whatever, cheesecake, cupcake, whatever, um, I'm not eating dinner. That was my dinner now. I'm not eating nothing for the rest of the day or I'm just eating salad. That might really set you back more than just, you know, being okay with the cupcake or cheesecake and moving on. That actually is starting the binge cycle again. And that was, we punished ourselves by doing that. It was a punishment. Yeah, don't we do don't, that. We don't want to punish ourselves because mistakes happen. They actually help make your journey better and stronger. They will make you stronger and better as a person because you learn from it and move on. Question yourself, why did I go off my diet? Is my diet messed up in the first place where nobody could follow it? No human could actually follow it. That's good too. That's Do I have point. an emotional eating problem? Did I have a bad day? Did I have a good day? Am I celebrating someone's birthday or party? Ask yourself why. You learn about yourself then and you can, the next time that comes around, you know now. They tell, a lot, sometimes the commenters, they tell me I should get on camera more. But the reason why I don't is because I don't want the keto police to come and like know my face and they're going to come and arrest me. <laughs> oh yeah. So you that's why I'm staying safe behind the camera. Anonymous. The, the keto police are vicious. <laughs> Gotta remain anonymous. Yeah. See, but if you warm up first, you can take it on. Like you can handle the police. <laughs> to go with that last point before uh, we sort of wrap it up, um, look at your slip up kind of like the universe giving you a test. This is what we've been doing recently if we're having challenges or a rough day or something. You look at it like, okay, this is the universe testing me to remind myself it's okay. Mistakes happen. Sometimes we have bad days. Sometimes we don't do what we wanted and that's okay. This is my test to show myself I'm strong enough to push through. I'm worth pushing through this. I'm not going to give up because of this setback. And yeah, it, fight through it. You can do it. That is why we say that at the very beginning of, of in our intros and in all our videos. You say it, I don't. S sorry. <laughs> that is why I say it at the beginning because it's true. Don't give up. We can fight through this. You are worth it. We are all worth it to do it. The last thing I want to say is have a support system. If as soon as you know you're going to be doing some sort of goal, resolution, diet, anything like that, make sure you have a support system. It doesn't matter if you have your support system as us online in the comments section or on our Instagram or or you just go to an online support group or it can be actual family and friends or it can be a journal. You can just write it down. Whatever it is, you got to get it out of here because otherwise it will sort of keep you stuck. And it'll keep punching you over and yeah. over and over again. <laughs> and you don't want to do that. You don't want to beat yourself up. So get it out. Write it out. Talk it out. Talk it out to your dog. So sometimes I just talk in the car and I just talk to myself. So you know when you guys are driving on the highway and you see those crazy people talking to themselves? That's one of them. Or it's a friend trying it out. Yeah. So change it up. Let it go because mistakes happen. Don't beat yourself up. Make sure that what you've set out to do is working for you. And if not, change it up. Make it fun. Try new stuff, love yourself. And often, one more thing, when you look back at the mistakes, you realize they actually help push you so much forward and give you so much knowledge about yourself that yes. they weren't a mistake, they were there for a reason. Any, and that is why we always say this, mistakes are part of the journey, they are supposed to be there. What kind of journey would it be if you just walked from here to across the kitchen and there was no problems. It's not a journey then. No. Journeys have ups and downs. The only way that you're going to grow, get better, lose weight, keep it off, love your body more, look better, is if you have the mistakes. 
Those mistakes are put there for a reason. They're for you. They're for you to show you, like I said, the universe is testing you to show you, you can do it. And that you're worth it. And that you deserve to push through it. And if it was easy to lose weight. We'd every... all be fitness buffers. <laughs> and it can be easy, but not when you're beating yourself up for every little bump along the road. Yes. Just go with the flow. Go with it. Oh, you're not feeling what you set out to do. It's okay. Change it up and try it out. The whole thing is an experiment. Kyle and I experiment all the time. We're here for you. Anytime you need it, even though we can't answer all your comments because we get so many, we have so many friends, we read them all. So just know that even if we can't respond to your comment, we are thinking of you. You are all in our thoughts. You are not, none of you are alone. This whole Colette community, we're all going through this together. We're all here for each other. And if you do want to interact more with us and you have any questions or, you know, concerns or you just need advice, if you follow us on Instagram at the Colette's, we are able to respond on there a lot quicker. It's easier to get at us on Instagram because it's yes. instant. And we post fitness clips. We post what we're eating. We also do question and answer periods in the stories. So check out our stories on Instagram. And if you comment or ask a question under our pictures, we are able to get back to you a lot quicker. So at the Colette's, check it out, dudes. And hope you enjoyed this. Hope this inspires you and helps you. You are worth this. You got this, dude and dudette. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, what? I'm already doing it. Karate chops of doom. I made myself laugh. Surprised you didn't pull out both your shoulders as well. Thanks for watching. Look at this dancing queen. I got excited. <laughs> Thanks, dudes. Peace out. Peace out. Bye. Our complete weight loss guide is finally here. We put our heart and souls into it, friends. It has 40 family-friendly recipes. Not only is there a two-week full meal plan for you, there is a blueprint on how to make your own. The toning moves to prevent loose skin, to tighten up the loose skin, it's all in there. Everything you will ever need to know, you ever wanted to know about how we lost weight, it is there.